Okay, so it's Saturday morning. Um, it's raining outside, so no better time to than to do a bit more work on the Aero Tetris 2.8 meter long SR71 Blackbird. So if you remember from my last video, I separated out all of the pieces. Um, so they're all here and numbered. Here's the plan. So what we need to do is to put some of these um, part cross sections together and then we'll start assembling the fuselage. I think that's what we'll be doing. So um, it's eight o'clock in the morning. It's a bit early, but I got Harry out of bed. Yeah. Harry. Thanks for that. <laughs> so we're going to start putting these part cross sections together. So for example, what have I got here? I've got F1, F2201. So I think there should be F2201 to 05, I think. And uh, then we can start putting these part cross sections together when we've got them into these groups. So we're going to do that now. We're going to do that now, Harry. You ready? <laughs> okay, so we've separated out the pieces from this tub into their separate groups. So we've got all the 8s together, all the 15s together, blah, blah, blah. So the next thing I want to test out is whether the type of glue I'm planning on using is going to work. So I've got this, um, this foam safe glue and we've got some accelerator as activator as well, this mitre pen. Um, so we're going to try those. Harry, if you want to just give that a quick go on the scraps okay. that I've got there. Yep, that's enough. And then use the mitre pen. There. Yeah. Hold it there. Okay. That's all right. You can see it activating actually. But I, I'm really interested to know whether it's going to deform or just totally melt the foam. No, it's quite firmly stuck on. I'm... Yeah, that looks quite good, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm pretty impressed by that. Right. Okay, that's good. So um, here's an example and um, cross section, part cross section. So we've got F32. <laughs> What we've decided is we're going to work from the middle outwards because in the middle they're quite thick um, sections so we're going to do that and then uh, see how see how far we got and get yeah, and you can see here there's a hole there's a 10 mil hole uh, and I've got some carbon tube so later when we've got all these part cross sections together we can thread them on on the tube and uh, glue those all together in a sandwich so um, we will report back in a little while Okay, so here's an example. Uh, this is F19. So um, what I found is really good is this mitre pen. Rather than using a spray activator, this is brilliant. So a couple of those like that. And then on the pieces you need to put on like that. I think it's bear in mind as well. So when you glue, consider what is the outer surface and that that is perfectly aligned because the thickness of these parts can be different and it's more in part important that the outer surface is flush. Um, so do that. Same with this one on the outer surface. Again, on the outer surface of the fuselage. Like that. Then mitre pen again, our, act our activator. And I, I laid out the bits already so I can Put them together quickly, again focusing on it being level, pushing down on a flat surface, making sure the outer side is flat, and then the last piece, and doing that first. That's good. And then there. And there, and that's internal, so we don't have to worry about that so much. And then done. And there you go. So what we're building up here is these components. This is one side of the fuselage, and then we've got to do all this again. And there are about fifty of these, if not more, um, stacked up like that. Okay. 
Okay, so put all these little components together from the four or five pieces. And now I've uh, done the hard bit, everybody else is suddenly interested in taking part. So uh, here we are uh, lining them all up. This is one side of the fuselage. Claire helping me, because she's suddenly interested in playing a part. Isn't it great when it's a family activity? So, um, and I've got my 10 mil carbon rod, and you see I put three pieces on there. So uh, I'm not committing to glue them together yet, and we're just making sure we've got everything and we've got them in order. Back soon. Having fun, having fun, Claire. Oh, this is good. Well, I, I'm, in, I'm liking that you're, uh, you're finding it good. Any help is appreciated. Okay, so progress today pretty good. I think um, this is the final segment. Um, so I've put these cross sections together, the majority of them, uh, and I've put them onto the carbon uh, tubes. And actually, just to give you a general impression of how long this thing is, <laughs> that, that is how long. It's it's uh, it's going to be longer than that because actually there are bits I haven't threaded on the end as well. So this is going to be a big model. Now nothing is especially lined up that well. It's not glued. It's all dry fit, and I'm not actually going to glue any of this together until I've done the other side and uh, matched and just checked I've got everything. I think gluing everything these sections together is going to be very quick, and I don't want to do it until I've checked I've got everything and it's all aligned. So. Uh, Next video in a short while, but thanks for watching this one. Having fun so far in a weird type of way. Quite a lot of hard work, but uh, I think it will be worth it. So thanks for tuning in this, for this video. Please subscribe if you're interested in watching the rest of the Aero Tetris 2.8 meter SR71 Blackbird build, and we'll be back on it soon. Thanks for watching.